Dr. Chris Mazaway, Chairman of the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at USC and a member of the state's Sports Medicine Advisory Committee joining us remotely from Columbia as we try to navigate this virus at the intersection with high school and college sports coming up this fall. Welcome in, Doctor. How are you? I'm well. Good morning. Thanks good. for having me. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, let's, let's start at the bottom and work up. The bottom line is, what do you think? Are we going to have high school football this fall? And if we are, is it going to be different? Yeah, I, I think things are clearly going to be different. Yeah. Um, I think it's very hard to know uh, what's going to happen with this season. Um, I, I'm sure you've, you've read that there are different scenarios out there with sure. regards to moving forward with the high school seasons. Um, From a so, medical standpoint, uh, think, to, to tell us what, what's going to be the biggest, the biggest challenge, keeping kids away from each other? Yeah, I, I think that we're learning a lot about this virus every day. Um, clearly, we're seeing a surge in the number of cases in South Carolina. Um, that's disturbing, right? It's right. the safety of the kids that we're worried about. It's the safety of those that interact with the kids that we're worried about. And so it, there's, there's so much that we're learning about the virus and the implications of it. And high school sports just happen to be one of those things that intersect with everything. Yeah. People are talking an awful lot, obviously, about the games and, and the responsibilities of coaches. But let's let's go into the part that you're usually always concerned with, and that's weight rooms and practices and you know things like this, getting the kids in shape to do that. How can you get in shape uh, for a hopeful season uh, with the restrictions that, that you've got to follow? Yeah. So we know that we went through a period of three months where – our kids didn't have exposure to the weight rooms right. and typical ways of conditioning. And so our assumption is that our student athletes are coming in deconditioned. Yeah. You know, they're not in, in no. tip top shape. Um, and so that's why the South Carolina High School League has tried to institute voluntary policies, allowing our kids to get back on their, their respective campuses, but making sure that they're wearing masks, they're socially distancing, proper hygiene, so that they can get back into shape with hopes of being able to participate this fall. More injuries uh, in getting ready because of uh, because you're out of shape? Um, we haven't seen it yet because <laughs> it's been a very gradual process. Right, right. Um, it's I, the I prospect do think that of more injuries we, there, I guess. Yeah, yeah. If we wind up playing football this fall, I wouldn't be surprised if we have more kind of soft tissue injuries, hamstring pulls, you okay. know, things like that, that more than we might normally expect to see. Okay. Um, for for those of us who want to see these games get played, what should we be doing between now and uh, mid to late August when we, when we find out one way or another? Uh, not so much getting in shape, but just uh, practicing social distancing and thinking about where maybe go and sit in the corner of the grandstands for a change? Yeah, I mean, that we need to be doing everything that our, our medical leaders and our governmental leaders are telling us to do. We need to wear masks. We need to social distance uh, because if, if we keep seeing the surges in number yeah. of cases that we're seeing, it's very unlikely that we're going to be allowed to play the sports this fall. Yeah, well, what do you think? Where, where does the line get drawn between, okay, let's try it and be careful with it and now we just can't do this. Uh, is it a, is it a number of positive cases of athletes themselves? Is that is that probably going to be the determining factor? I don't think anyone has that answer right okay. now, unfortunately. Well, there you go. That's the straightest answer I've gotten on that from from anybody <laughs> I, I've talked to. Um, you also work with the, the kids at USC, uh, the I players and, and athletes there. Uh, what's what's the plan there? Yeah, I'd say we're going through the same protocols. Okay. Um, so we. Um, the NCAA and the SEC has acknowledged that our kids are coming in somewhat deconditioned and so they're mandating that our kids go through a conditioning process and I can tell you that we have policies in place <laughs> where every one of our USC athletes is wearing masks, they're socially distancing, they're cleaning every bit of equipment in the weight room after they use their equipment in the weight room. Um, and so we're going through the exact same policies that we're asking our, our high school athletes to go through right now. Okay, great stuff. Thanks so much for the update. Dr. Chris Mazaway of USC, stay with us.